Through a 10, we are learning more about a homicide in Carbon County. We first told you last night that state police responded to an aggravated assault case involving multiple weapons in Lehighton, where they took a suspect into custody. We now know the name of the victim, Edward Whitehead, who was struck with a chainsaw and a knife. And as Fox 56's Taylor Warden tells us, a masked neighbor is now charged in his death. At the time of the crime, the suspect was wearing an all-black outfit consisting of a mask of the Scream character from a movie from a few years ago. He was wearing this during the commission of the crime. The victim, 59-year-old Edward Whitehead, was found in his Carbon Street home with life-threatening injuries. He was taken to St. Luke's Hospital Carbon Campus, where investigators say he succumbed to his injuries and died. Through investigation, we're able to develop a suspect. The suspect's house had a perimeter set up around it, and through successful negotiations, the suspect exited and was taken into custody without incident. He eventually came out. There was communications going on between him and troopers on scene, and eventually he did open the door himself and exit on his own will. That suspect was identified as 30-year-old Zach Moyer of Lee Heighton, who resided at 241 Carbon Street. Moyer is now charged with one count of criminal homicide. The victim and the suspect live in close proximity of each other. Their history is something that we won't get into. This was not just a random attack. They did know each other. Court documents say Moyer admitted to stabbing Whitehead in the head with a knife before returning to his residence to watch a movie until police arrived. According to the criminal complaint, Moyer admitted to hiding the chainsaw in the attic and putting the knife in a drawer. Troopers interviewed Moyer's sister, who says Zach informed her that he wanted to kill his neighbor one week ago. I spoke to a stunned neighbor who wanted to remain anonymous. I feared for my grandchildren at the time because we were all told to stay in the house, keep your doors locked. My granddaughter was just walking home from school when the cops came flying. She's in third grade. She was petrified. More and more kept coming. I'm like, oh my God, this must really be bad. But no, it's, it's just a sad situation. Neighbors that I spoke with today say they are traumatized by what had happened, saying this is a quiet neighborhood. Reporting in Carbon County, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. Moyer admitted to police he had intended to murder Whitehead because of crimes he believed that he committed. He's incarcerated at the Carbon County Correctional Facility. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for April 3rd.